What is up guys, Brokeman here, show you guys a couple things as far as adding alerts to your streams on OBS. Um, now, first thing you gotta do is over, come over here and get into Streamlabs, and from Streamlabs, create an account, you know, log in with your Twitch. I personally use it just for the fact that uh, it definitely helps out a lot in seeing who follows you, um, who has followed you, taking track of what your donations are. Um, basically it goes day by day. It's pretty thorough as far as any other programs go. I mean this is obviously just a browser. Um, so what you gotta do is, um, now mind you I didn't find it before because my widgets is closed out. You gotta go into widgets, go over here to alert box. Um, now depending on what you want, it's all up to your user preference. Um, you can change your colors, you can do whatever you want as far as making um, an alert. Like me personally, I like to know, or like let people get a little alert when they follow me so that they see, you know, I'm actually trying to acknowledge them because it's kind of hard to play a game and look at who's trying to follow you, you know, following from screen to screen. I mean, I got two screens, but at the same time, it's still pretty hard. Um, sometimes I don't see people typing and I forget that I even have a chat box, so um, alerts are always great. Um, so this alert is obviously for follows. Um, already got it set up, or it's already set up for you. I uh, just turned down the volumes a little loud last time, uh, changed the alert duration a little bit. Um, once you're done with that, you save the settings. And once you're done save settings, you go over to here, click the URL widget. I'm obviously not going to show mine. Um, and then you take it over to uh, OBS. Now when you go into OBS, you just go over here, browser source, you add a new one. Um, I already have mine set up, so I'm going to save this one. But as you can see, just go here. Oh, look, someone actually uh, followed me, so they already gave me an alert. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> cool thing about this is you go into it, um, delete that one. So you can set it up wherever you want. I mean, I personally like it to be here in the middle. Um, what you do is you go ahead and uh, if you have OBS open, you just press follow, and it'll show you where it's at. And you can move it over here, you can move it up top. Um, like I said, you can change the picture too. I just personally don't have one set up just yet, just for the fact that I just learned how to use this. So I just want to let people know as far as how to do this and what to use. Um, kind of sucks is I don't use OBS as much. I've been using the GeForce Experience. So I will hopefully try to implement that into GeForce Experience if I can. But if I can't, then whatever. I'll start using OBS again. Um, and that's how you do that. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment. Uh, if you can, please subscribe and follow. Alright, thank you guys.